build up to Christmas has always felt like a strange time. It's supposed to be about giving, love, family. I feel like we give in to these newfound standards that are just present giving and nothing more. The materialistic aspects have now overwhelmed the traditions of old. Join us as we head out into the sticks for the night in an old English woodland on a cold December's night, getting away from it to then reintroduce ourselves before Christmas for what it really means. Whoa, what are you doing here? <laughs> Just a beard. You've been stood there the whole time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello. Spectating. Oh, should we heat it up in here? That's the heating now on. We've got heating. Is that on now? This is indeed a cosy winter night. Should we get some grub on? Yeah, go on then. Brought a little bit of... Oh, Wine. It's indeed a chilled yeah, evening, isn't it? <laughs> bit of red. Crack on. We ain't got wine glasses here, so... Excuse the lack of civilization. It's a van at the end of the day, isn't it? <laughs> these can cook food. Are these, are these Christmas cards for us? Yeah, Christmas cards. Just gone through the pipes. Off the bushwhackers. <laughs> Off bushwhacker man and co. D. Like Love it. Whoa. That diesel eater's kicking out the flipping heat, isn't it? They do that, you get like a run up process and then it like just cools off a bit. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. It's nice, that. It's from Parry's wedding, that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you, Bex. This is probably the coziest I've ever seen the bed. One sec, let's just plump that up. Very nice. Question. Shall we watch a film tucked up there? Because that looks cozy AF. <laughs> what are you thinking? I'm thinking something like, I don't know, Fred Becky or... Fred Becky. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Oh, can we watch that? Um, Percy Forsett. Yeah. Got a lot of Forsett. Percy Forsett. Percy Forsett with um, Charlie uh, Horman. Charlie yeah. Bort. Charlie. All the women are just watching for him in Yeah, game. literally. Charlie Hummus. <laughs> Charlie... Hummus. <laughs> Charlie Horman. <Robert. laughs> I don't know. Hunnam. Is it Hunnam? Hunnam. Charlie Hunnam. Percy Forsett. Now we're back out on the road and we've got the heat to sustain us from the diesel eater. Life is feeling so much better. When's the last time you saw snow? Yesterday. No, but like real <laughs> snow like this. You are. When's the last time you saw real snow like this? Probably, do you know, like a year ago. Probably, isn't it? Probably last time we were in Scotland. Yeah, back in February. Look at the stars. Looks well nice. They won't show up on camera, they look good though. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Rosy cheeks. Went out for a nice walk. Now we're back around the D's later. Getting our digits re flipping vitalised. Says in. It's nice, isn't it? It's nice to be out walking in the in the snow in the winter. The yeah. winter nights. This heat chills you out. <laughs> yeah, it does. Coming you get back, back in here. <laughs> around the uh, around the old diesel eater. And it is beautiful. <laughs> my eyes, my eyes, it's man. Like you. Just started snowing. You can probably hear it on the roof fan there. Hello Fresh. 
What is HelloFresh, Jake? Well, HelloFresh is an online food delivery service that you can rock up online to the website, choose what meals you want, and it'll be at your door on the day that you allocate. There's a variety of menus, all fresh, and they come very easy to cook with instructions like these. This morning, we're having pancakes, and that's what they should look like. They all come with clear instructions that show you exactly what you need to do at what time and how to do it. All of the individual ingredients come with it in the set measurements that you need to make the dish, which is very easy for me, and especially in the van, because then you don't have to get 15 different pots and pans out to start measuring stuff out, and that for me is great. Also the fact that I'm very terrible at food prep. Actually, I'm very terrible at anything that takes even the most minute use of organization, to be honest. So this is great for me. Order online, quick and easy comes to your door on a specified date, quick and easy to cook. I've been trying out HelloFresh's meals for the last week or so, and honestly, when I try to muster something up myself, I'm like, oh yeah, I feel like Gordon Ramsay when I'm knocking it all together with herbs and spices and stuff like that, but it never tastes quite right. These, every time, they've been under 30 minutes to cook, and by the time I've finished, it's been absolutely stunning with tastes. And the best part about it is, the way I see moving forward in van life, is that you could get these delivered to one of the drop boxes or a post office or something like that, and then you've got it easy to collect from a local place. So wherever you are in the country, you can rock up and grab it. I had mine delivered to my dad's because obviously I've been on the drive there for a while, but now the diesel eater is fitted. We are no more. So let's crack on and get some brekkie done. This is what we're on. Buttery honey cinnamon pear pancakes. Oof. Let's turn that into that. I think I've done a pretty good job there. We've got the pancakes, cream and honey in the middle, the bacon, we've got the caramelised pears on top. I might have gone a little bit over caramelised with the pears, but to me, <laughs> that looks scrummy. I need to make mine now, but Bex, get that down range, love. If you guys want to check out the link below, you can get 60% off your first box and 25% off for the next two months using code 60JAKE. Conditions apply. I don't know about going for a walk, Well, that's me comatose next to the heater now. Dude, I am full, that was stunning. You know what, me and Bex were just saying, that is going to have to be Christmas breakfast. That'll keep you going until your roast dinner and your turkey. That was beaut. If you want to go check HelloFresh out, then I'll leave a link below, pinned in the comments and down below in the description, and you can go out and check their menus out. But it's pretty beautiful stuff. Right, should we get out for a walk? Yep, sounds good. It's Whoop. proper dark though, isn't it? Yeah, it's darkened up out there, man. We were saying about how the diesel it makes us lazy. So <laughs> let's let that let our stomachs rest now after those pancakes. That was actually for four people. And we just smashed it. So Bloody filling. we need to go and walk it off. Right, peace. See you bit. I definitely think we should have gone for a walk before breakfast. It's now really <laughs> gone off the deep end with the wet. I don't actually think there's going to be much more snow for us to walk about in, to be honest, to show you, because it's absolutely peeing, actually nearby the roof. That's just the drip off from the trees. I've switched the diesel eater off for a while, actually, and if anyone wants to know running costs, roughly it's about £5 a day to run the diesel eater. Uh, and I didn't think it was going to be that expensive. I mean, it wouldn't have been uh, back when it was £1.20 a litre for diesel rather than uh, £1.83. Like, it's gone up a lot, hasn't it? Let's hope that goes down at some point, because um, that ain't good for none of us. Obviously, it's still a lot cheaper than living in a house being in here, but um, still don't want to be paying a fiver a day for the diesel eater. That's turning it off for about five hours a day and running it for about 19. So, yeah, and that's on the lowest setting as well, which doesn't keep it T-shirt weathery near because of the amount of windows. So we need to start thinking about insulation for the windows, i.e. blinds, insulated blinds and all that sort of good stuff. Curtains, all that good pish. That's me, gang, signing off. It has been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for coming and watching. One of our winter nights in the van, it's been a pleasure. Um, I just want to take this opportunity to thank everyone this year for making this po possible for dropping in week in week out coming and watching the videos i want to say a massive thank you to my patrons as well because you made all this possible with the support that you've given me here's me being like i'm worried about trying to film a diesel tank up so i could afford to stay warm this winter so thank you to my patrons that make stuff like that possible and thanks for you lot coming in week in week out down below in the comments dropping those likes and i see you i see you week in week out them lot so thank you so much I can't always get around to do all the comments, but I try to do as many as I can. I, I appreciate you so much, and just thanks for being here. Thanks for enjoying the journey, and um, look forward to next year. We've got some sick trips coming up. Uh, we're talking some mad trips in Bow. 
I'm absolutely buzzing to be taking you guys along on those. Also, we're going to be doing some mad trips on the motorbike as well, and also another little side project. I know, Jake, keep it to one thing, you can't help it, your little ADHD brain just bouncing around doing mad stuff. Yeah, well, motorbike, van, and just some sick-ass trips. So look forward to it. Oh, I'm actually buzzing. Yo, if you knew what was coming, you'd, yeah. Anyway, right, have an absolutely sick Christmas. Um, eat as many roast potatoes and, like, I'm not really a fan of turkey, to be honest. Sorry, unpopular opinion, but it's dry as hell. But no, I'd rather have goose or something or some sort of vegetables. The, ve the vegetables are the best bit. Ro oh, roast potatoes, man. Come on. Anyway, I'm getting off topic now. Have a mint Christmas. Uh, love to you all out there. Um, for me, this Christmas, please just go out. Love your support networks, your families, all that sort of good stuff, and um, keep smashing it. Absolute gangsters. One love. Peace. I hope Santa comes and brings like some, some, some good stuff. Just some, some, just some stuff you wanted. Even if it's a lump coal in the bottom of your stocking. Anyway, that's enough waffling. Love you. Merry Christmas.